What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends news reveal video and what I have for you today is the X-Men Retro Series Deluxe Apocalypse figure. Remember, it's the 20th, and on the 20th of every month, Hasbro will showcase new Marvel Legends reveals throughout this year to celebrate the 20th year anniversary of Marvel Legends. So before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up, like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Now, with that said, finally, some more retro series love for the X-Men, right? I believe it's been over a year since we last got one, probably a little over a year since... All the retro love shifted to Spider-Man and back to the regular superheroes card. Love seeing the purple card for the villains, which was the same colored theme for the vintage line. Good to see that they're staying true to that. This will be one big oversized card, so make sure you have some room to hang this on your wall if you're thinking of keeping it mint on card. It's labeled Ancient Evil above his name template, and you can see all the goodies he comes with. That's it for the packaging, now let's focus more on the figure. The Apurpolips figure is not just a straight up repaint. We get new parts on this figure including an all new torso. This is heavily inspired from the animated series version which sports that purple deco. So I don't think we'll be seeing a cell shaded version to this in the VHS box since it would be taller than the rest of those boxes and from my understanding the branding team wants to keep them the same size to be consistent. But the new torso looks great here with a smooth clean design and if you also notice the shoulder pads have that same ring like engineering just as War Machine did and some other recent figures where it moves with the arm preventing any sort of hindering which was something both the Apocalypse Bath and AOA figure presented a problem with arm movement. We also get new gauntlet pieces with the tubes that connect to a newly designed belt as well. The big highlight for me is that molecular multi-cannon with blast effects. Very animated series inspired as you can see here in this image. One big muzzle blast effect and two smaller ones. This cannon looks freaking awesome. I remember the Legends team saying a while back where they had sculpted some weapons for that apocalypse bath, but most of them never made it out. I know we got that pincer claw that came packed in with the deluxe archangel figure. I'm wondering if this was one of those weapons that never made it out and got to finally get it out there with this release. Either way, I'm stoked for this and since it's borrowing the same arms as the Bath Apocalypse, you should have no problem popping this on those other figures if you have them. I want to say he comes with two new head sculpts, but this angry expression looks to be the Bath head repainted. Looks different because of the lighter paint scheme, but after looking at the Bath I have on hand, it's the same. The alternate head with the closed mouth, however, is brand new. Not repainted from the AOA version since that one had a pyramid-like shape sculpted on his chin. Looks great and another cool addition. Also, I just noticed this real quick, is that he doesn't have that ankle bracelet piece that shifted from the bath. So they really want you to get more movement out of this one. Lastly, he comes with two pair of closed and open set of hands. Definitely a must buy if you missed out on that bath or want to keep it mint on card with the rest of the retro line. Even if you have the bath and still want this one, the extra cannon will serve as some exciting swappable options. Pre-orders go up live Tuesday at 1pm Eastern Time. It's not an exclusive so you should be able to get your hands on it easily. No word on pricing but I assume it'll be the same as Rhino who was also a retro deluxe at $39.99. Usually figures that were a bath get marked at a higher price point. I won't be surprised if this costs just a little bit more because of all those new parts and accessories. But it's way more feasible to go with this more affordable route than trying to hunt down that bath. That bath headpiece alone was going for like $80 to $100 at one point. I do think this will be the last Apocalypse figure we get in this size because I have a feeling that Hasbro will want to plan out a bigger version as a Haslap for him sometime in the near future. But that's just pure speculation on my part. Over the weekend they revealed the X-Men animated series Mystique. Didn't get to talk about it as I was busy filming and editing my collection videos. But just to quickly go over it. Maybe it won't be so quick, but the VHS box is lovely as always. The figure itself is just a repainted version of the Walgreens exclusive. It applies the cell shading we've seen in this line. The head sculpt is new, I believe, or at least the hair sculpt. 
Yeah, the hair sculpt is definitely new, but that face sculpt looks to be the same. Could be new. Definitely want to take a closer look at it. I do like the blue grayish skin tone. Comes with those forge weapons, alternate hands, and my favorite accessory is that baby nightcrawler. Good way to reuse that baby Hulk from the Old Man Logan 2 pack. This is a cop if you are getting everyone in this line. But if you're not and you're looking for a definitive mystique, even if you missed out on that Walgreens version, you can pass on this one. I have a feeling we'll get an updated classic comic mystique. Don't expect this line to have new modes if you're disappointed they didn't use a newer mold like the Shriek body. This line shouldn't be intended for that since it's a subline and not in the main line. Unless it's Morph for example, that version was never made before so giving him new legs and a new torso made sense. Only a few parts will be new like certain accessories such as Wolverine's claws and picture frame and some new heads like that Wolverine too. But not new molds. I think some fans would have been pissed if this subline had all new updated body molds before getting any updates in the main line, having to wait forever to get an updated version or not getting one at all. Just cause I know there are those that hate the cell shading. Which I don't understand as it's only for this line. Makes sense for this line to have it since it's based off that medium which was heavy on cell shading. It's not like they're pouring all of that shading into the main line. I know you can't please everyone, but again, it's its own thing. I like this animated series line, but I will say the downside for me is that it prevents us from getting more X-Men retro carded figures that are needed. Such as Mystique and Sinister in this line, for example. These were villains that should have been in the purple retro card. So, no way do I see them re-releasing, or at least I'm having a hard time seeing them re-releasing them for a third time now on this card back. If they do, then Mystique better have an updated female pinless body at that point. So yeah, I do feel that the animated series line is robbing us from some of the retro carded figures we need. That's why I'm very happy to see this apocalypse on this retro card. Anyways, I finished editing my X-Men collection video last night, so be on the lookout for that to drop tonight at 8pm Eastern Time. Can't wait for y'all to watch that. Now I kick it back to you. What do you guys think of this new Apocalypse figure? Are you down with it? Because I'm with it. Also, let me know your thoughts on the animated series Mystique figure too. Comment below. Let me know. We'll chat about it. As always, follow me on Instagram at xmanny87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.